slices from Pink and Main. I like that there's large scripty sentiments and then these smaller supporting sentiments. And I wanted to create something with just sentiments. So I used this grid that I have for my Misty and uh, lined up a bunch of them. And this is some Bristol Smooth cardstock. Used my embossing bag there to make sure that when I do my embossing, my embossing powder doesn't stick anywhere I want it to be, or anywhere I don't want it to be. And I used this Versafine Onyx Black ink to do my embossing. I could have used clear embossing ink, but I really wanted to make sure I could see where these were laid out. Doesn't really matter. The ink stays wet long enough that the embossing powder sticks to it, and you can't see the black after I use the gold. It's, it's gold. So I did that first round, and then I put my grid back on. More so, I mean, I wanted to make sure everything was straight, but more so because I didn't want to clean my stamps, and I didn't want them to leave any kind of residue on my paper when I was laying them out. So I just kind of did some picking and choosing on where I wanted them to be. And I didn't reuse them all, just some of them. Again, I used my embossing buddy and then the Versafine Onyx Black Ink, and they're not perfect. <laughs> this is a handmade card. It's They're never going to be perfect. It's kind of... Um, I used to include a, a letter with people that ordered cards for me that said, you know, thank you for ordering a handmade card. Um, you will find imperfections, and that is what makes handmade cards great. So here I am going to do some ink blending. I used this lighter... I'm pretty sure this is Mermaid Lagoon or something like that here in the center and I did make it in the center and then I went around with blueprint sketch around the edges I wanted to make sure that that center stayed lighter and like I said before I used Bristol Smooth cardstock the blending on this is just dreamy it goes on just so smooth and buttery you don't have to really saturate the paper in order to get a good blend but the colors are not nearly as vibrant, so there is that. So I went with the blueprint sketch, and then I went with, I think it's faded jeans maybe, and then this is the black soot. I wanted the edges to be deeper and darker so that that center really appeared to glow. And I went back over everything, make sure I got that glow. So then I used some water to add some spots to my panel. So with a paintbrush and splattered them on picked all that up and you can see the distressing that that caused. Kind of a neat look. Then I took three rectangle dies from my stash and here I have them face down and I'm taping them with some purple tape. Then I turned it over so the sticky side of the tape is up and I'm using this mat to make sure that I have everything lined up straight and that the gap is, you know, what I want. So then I took the entire set of three dies and used that to die cut my panel. This is a coordinating card stock. I think it's a cheap Michaels or Joanne's card stock. And here I had all three pieces and I just laid them on there to see if I really liked the color of the card stock that I picked. And then I did um, stamp and heat emboss the larger sentiment congratulations off camera. I did stamp it twice. I did just stick the other I only used one, so I stuck the other one in the back of the pouch for the stamp. I used some thin foam strips to cover the back of this frame, and the center is also popped up with foam. I fussy cut the large congratulations out. I think we call that the bubble method. I don't really know. Um, I think there's some companies have dyes that'll do that, which is really cool. So I put that first, the outside layer down on the foam tape, and then the second layer, or second part of this rectangle, is flat on the card base. So you get to mention, but the sentiments read straight across, so it's just kind of interesting. And when I put this congratulations down, I made sure I put foam tape on the parts that are going to be in the sunk down channel, so that it laid flat. I'm still liking that art glitter glue probably because, well, that's what I have right now. All my other glues are empty, so I don't really have a choice. <laughs> and then I used the Simon Says Stamp Gala, Gala, 
whatever mix of sequins. I like that these larger goldish ones fit down in that channel and then I love the, that there's these blue, oh, I think they're called confetti. They don't have the little circle or the little hole in them. I like that those really coordinated well. So I put some on the card and that's the end of it here. I mean, it was very simple and it, it turned out nice. I think somebody would really like it be for any occasion. So here is a still shot of the card. You can see a little bit more detail and you will see a two, no, one more video on your screen if you'd like to continue watching and I really appreciate you stopping by. I'd love to chat with you in the comments. Have a great day. Bye!